Hi, I'm Jeff Knowles and I'm Nick Hard and together we are Planning Unit. Uh, Planning Unit is our fledgling design studio which um, is actually the name comes from Nick's grandfather's old company. Yes. So, uh, Computer Arts Collections, the new uh, magazine that they're launching, the first issue, they kindly asked us to do their first um, kind of project showcase uh, piece. Um, and what they're going to do is uh, follow us on the process of designing a printed piece from scratch. Um, so it's going to be about 48 pages and yeah, uh, it's going to basically be from the very beginning, free brief, here it is, you can do something printed, all we want to do is follow the whole process right till the end, actually produce the final thing as well. Uh, the only um, things that we do know is Pantone and iStock are on board, so obviously it will come to inked, but for kind of content it will be around iStock images. You got a lot of coffee? Yep, yeah, there you go. Thanks. Nice. What do you think? That's what we talked about with Nick, wasn't it? Dramatic light could be quite cool. I can imagine that on a double page spread printed. Oh, you're thinking for this for the idea? Yeah, yeah. Well, we, if we could find enough images that had the, you know, kind of um, that aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to make it as iconic as possible, don't we? Yeah. To give it, to give it real standalone on its page and also work as a set, as a, as a series. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. He's ace. That is a ring gear hoverfly. Mm, very nice. I've got a few at home as pets. So there's this website uh -huh. called the Red List, which is made by the IUCN. I, I think thing. I read about this just the other day. It's like the um, the best the best um, site for information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah, yeah. But I mean, you can literally put in polar bear. And then it will give you its conservation status. Now they've got this conservation status list. So yeah, on this website there's this scale which is quite interesting. Uh, it goes from least concerned, near threatened, vulnerable, endangered, critically endangered, extinct in the wild, and extinct. I see. And there's all these different animals. So I was thinking. I don't, yeah. I don't know what you think that we could base the booklet on one animal from each category. Yep, sounds like a great idea.